All right, so today I am driving out the Weasel 1A2 and the Ocelot. Now, the Weasel 1A2 is probably my favorite ground vehicle in War Thunder. Almost definitely my favorite ground vehicle. I love this thing. It's tiny. It's fast. It's a bush. It's got pretty good anti-tank missiles. Whoop. It can spot targets. And it's got thermals. The only, the only real catch with the Weasel 1A2 here is uh, you have to come to a dead stop in order to shoot the missiles. And it's not amphibious. Um, I am a huge fan of amphibious vehicles. It's kind of the only thing that I would really want that this doesn't have, aside from being able to shoot on the move. Uh, you got the Tow 2, both varieties of the, the Tow 2 missile. Reasonably potent. They don't fire especially fast, but, you know, they're okay. Um, you only got eight shots, so that, that can be a limiting factor. However, this thing is a bush. It's, it's tiny. If you, get, if you get yourself up into a good position with this thing, people without thermals will have no idea where you are. And uh, it's got insanely good depression. insanely good depression on its gun. So you can get yourself like like look at this. Look at look at how hull down I am going over this little hill here. Look at that. It's excellent. What more could I ask for? I could ask for someone to come take C while I'm covering them. I don't want to go out there, because I've got, like, bushes for armor. Like, see those bushes? That's, that's my armor. That's not camouflage. That's all I've got. These people are going to be, like, shooting darts and missiles at me and stuff. And I've got some bushes. So the protection on the weasel is inadequate. Um, it's a tankette, after all. It's not even... It's not even a regular tank. But to me, that's okay. Because uh, again, you know, the, the attributes that I'm looking at with this thing, it's little, it's very mobile, it's got competent anti-tank missiles, and it's a bush. I don't always do super good with it, because again, it is very vulnerable. Um, but it is, without question, one of my favorites, if not my, my overall favorite. I love this thing! And the, the Ocelot and the Weasel, was it the Weasel 1A4? Is that the lower one with the, with the gun on it? Um, I love these things, the whole family. They're, they're modern tankettes. I mean, like, what more could I want? Ugh. Okay. So that is another minor annoyance with the weasel. It's got no mass and uh, chain link fences and like little trees and stuff um, are absolutely enough to stop this thing dead in its tracks. So you gotta you gotta be aware of that. All right, did they kill that guy? They did. He's dead. Alright, I am not going to go Cap C because I don't want to attract any attention to myself. Because the weasel doesn't react well to bullets. It's much easier to sit out here on the edges and use my depression... I don't know if that guy's alive or dead. He's dead. 
But the, um... Come on, where... Give me something to shoot at. I can't tell if that's alive or dead. It looks dead. If I see him shoot, I will know it's alive. How about this? That's dead. I don't want to be a spawn camper. Just don't want to get flanked. This is unfortunately one of those maps where people in general love to just kind of sit back and spawn and do all the long range, like, snipey stuff. So, I might have no choice but to go do C. I don't see anybody over here, so this might not be a very high-risk play. But if they've got, like, a helicopter up or something, I'm, I'm kind of screwed. Because there's, like, nowhere to hide here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, artillery, that's a problem. The, uh, the weasel, of course, quite vulnerable to artillery. Bushes are, are not very good protection against artillery. Uh-oh. Not today. Come on, come on, get the cap. All right. Love this thing. See, I'm so tiny and I'm such a bush, that guy didn't even see me. He came around that corner, he came over the crest of that hill. He was looking for tanks. All he saw was a little bush. And he's like, oh, there's nobody here. This is fine. <laughs> oh, 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 almost. Oh, 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 man. Okay, that was almost really bad. <laughs> that, uh, that F2H2 there, oh, man. That guy was coming back for Badal. He wanted some revenge on my ass. That's what that was. But not today. The weasel is too strong and too small. All right, what's going on over there? Oh, hello. Yes, there's a bush shooting at you. What are you going to do about it? You're going to take another shot is what you're going to do. Oh, there's another one. Hello. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, so that is the... Whoa. Oh, no. There's somebody taking C. And I'm out of ammo. I was about to say that that is the other shortcoming of the Ocelot. Is that it only has eight shots. And I have used them. And I can't reload because that guy just took C right out from under me. There's nothing I can do. To the map. Oh, oh, does he see me? He... He doesn't see me, but he's coming right this way. I'm going to risk some exposure, and I'm going to hide in this crater. <laughs> nope, nope. Nope. Nothing to see here. Just just a bush in a crater. Oh, no. He's, he's, got, he's got Artie right on me. Go away. I'm just a bush in a crater. Oh, no. Oh, this isn't going to end well. 
Oh, oh no, I've got multiple already. Oh no, oh. Oh, this isn't good. All right, I'm I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. Oh. Oh well. Okay, that was a good run. So let's jump into the ocelot and see if there are any aircraft up. And knowing my luck, this is going to be one of those matches with uh, nothing but friendlies. Because, of course. The Ocelot, of course, here um, has no ability to attack ground targets. So that is a definite weakness. And uh, I may just have to pop this into a second match if they don't have any aircraft up. Because there's, there's nothing I can do to attack ground units. I can't shoot the missiles without a lock. And uh, I can't get... I can't lock onto ground targets. So, that's a problem. Yeah. It's looking like I'm going to have to just do a second match. Alright, so we're back for a second match. Because uh, that first one... Didn't really get an opportunity to use the Ocelot. So, I jumped into the Weasel here, and of course it's it's a night match, because of course it is. So, I'm going to play kind of reckless. I'm just going to charge directly in a B. Not really caring if I get popped immediately. Um, and similar to some of the other videos I've done, where my second vehicle was an anti-air. Um, I'm literally just trying to grab some points... Some, some quick, cheap points as I pass a little bit of time so that when I spawn into the anti-air, there will actually be some aircraft to shoot at. So, we're not going to be doing as much of the sneaky weasel stuff as we normally would. And, ooh. You know, I, I wasn't 100% sure if, uh, if I was going to make it through that great through that fence. <laughs> but uh, we made it. All right, we got a we got a proper tank with us. Oh boy. I'm going to go over here, maybe the wall will shield me a little bit. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, really? All right, you stay there, buddy. I'll I'll sneak around. I'll go be the designated sacrifice because I'm not actually trying to live. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea how I survived that. But, uh, but I'll take it. Okay. And I will use that guy as a shield from enemy thermals. Attached tow cable. I couldn't tow that thing if I wanted to. Alright. Where can I go get killed? I can go get killed driving over towards C. Oh. If I don't get killed by these lampposts. Yeah, the Weasel's not a tough vehicle. But that's okay. I don't I don't take it to, to be tough. Yep, there we go. Couldn't quite now see that's <clears throat> that's the weakness I was talking about before. I saw that guy. You saw me try to stop. I, I switched to zoom in um, to get the missile shot on him. So I had that guy dead to rights, but I couldn't take the shot without stopping, because the weasel can't do snapshots. Alright, so now we've at least got some enemy aircraft to shoot at, it looks like. He's coming right for me. How convenient. That's right, that's right. All 
Alright, what do we got going on over there? There's a lot of fire going out. Is it all going at flares? Alright, that is a friendly yak too. What are you doing here? Yeah, I think it's just flares showing up on my radar. But it's hard to be sure. So that is going to be annoying. That's actually kind of kind of good to demonstrate in a video like this that in a night battle, um, flares are going to screw with your radar spotting in the Ocelot. So it's not, not a big problem. It's just something to be aware of. And I find the, um, the thermal sights are actually kind of useful for spotting enemy aircraft visually. Oh, that's a that's a big mess over there. Come on, give me something to shoot. I had somebody to shoot right at the start. Now I got nothing. Maybe I'll shoot down a flare. Because why not, right? I'm a little high. I like having the uh, the visibility, but I don't like being a target. We're controlling most of the zones. Oh, is that a flare or is that an actual target? That was probably a flare. Stop snapping to that. I don't have it selected. Aha! Okay. That might be an A-10. Or it might be something a little bigger that's farther away. I'm not sure. That kind of looks like an A-10. Alright, he's really far out, though. Let me take a quick look around. Alright, that is definitely something I want to be taking a shot at. He's coming right in, so let's force an evasive maneuver. That is an A-10. Alright, yep, we, we forced him to turn off. Let's do it again. He sees me. I'm screwed. Oh. Oh! Oh! No! Ah! Oh, oh man, okay. Um, yeah, so Bert from even a dead A-10 um, is still a credible threat. <laughs> that stupid Harrier, get, get out of here, get, get. Oh, the bombs. And he crashed, that's fine. All right. That uh, that A-10 rolling in on me, that was that was kind of scary. You know, even even a dead A-10 can can still be a a pretty serious problem. That you guys all saw. I mean, that Burt was like meters away. Maybe that guy was in a stock plane, didn't have his uh, his accuracy upgraded. But whatever the case, that was a uh, that was pretty lucky. Oh, Yak Two, what are you doing here? Another zone captured. We have the advantage. My radar is gonna love that guy. All right, here we are. That is that is a flare. I really don't want to be shooting at flares. Another flare. They have one person left. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go make a play for A. Cause, why not? Right? They've only got one person left. I'll either go for A and cap it before the end of the match and get some points. Or I'll just get smacked. So that's fine. 
I mean, I've done my job. I took out a couple of planes. That, that A-10 could have caused enormous damage. And I mean, that Harrier killed himself going for me. So is that, is that half a kill? Oh. Oh. Need to watch where I'm going. Let me turn my... Spool my missile back up. Oh, and of course, yeah, see the... Um, the Ozzelot is still a weasel, so it's got no mass. And that'll do it. So, there's the, uh, the weasel and the Ocelot. As always, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.